Daryl, we can stop asking you about whether you got any new signings coming in now because you got two yesterday. So yeah. t- tell us a bit first of all. It's, about, a, it's about... a refreshing change, yeah. Phil, isn't it? Now nah, listen, uh, really pleased. Jack comes in, the goalie obviously played 60, 70 games at League One level. Uh, very highly rated keeper at uh, Oxford. They've got a, a couple of. He's, he's my director of football now, just ringing me actually. He's probably got me another centre forward. Just gives him a minute. <laughs> right, but uh, no. Uh, yeah, so that's that's good. And then, then Ellis, I know all about Ellis. Listen, I had Ellis as a, a young lad at, uh, at Bristol Rovers for a good four or five years, I think it was. He's a, he's a great lad. He'd be great around the changing rooms, but he's a winner. And, uh, you know, probably by his own admission, he's, he, he fell out of love a little bit. He, you know, one or two, he, he, he wants to be playing, he needs to be playing. He's, uh, and his attributes of those nines now, there's not many of them around. And uh, I'm delighted to get that one over the line because I know what he can be and what he can he can produce, obviously, which is a bonus. But the main thing is that I want to get Ellis enjoying his football again and uh, he'll certainly do that with myself. I uh, saw in the, the press release that came out about you, the user phrase like you, you'd help to build him. So what role did you have in his uh, development? He'll tell you funny stories because, I mean, <laughs> I, I took over eight games and I put him straight on the transfer list in the summer. He'd had two years left on his deal. So I put him on the transfer list because I thought he was a nodding dog and, and, and weren't taking on board things. So, uh, But then he came back. He came back, scored, I think, nearly 20 goals in the conference for me. And then, uh, then in League Two, he, he was out of the team. So I sent him on loan to Hartlepool for a month. He came back, scored another load of goals for me. So he's he, sometimes it's been a cruel, cruel sort of love towards him. Uh, but he's, you know, he's certainly a great lad. He's a great kid. He's, he's a winner. He wants to be playing every week, which you want. But also the the attributes that he brings of the the old fashioned number nine with with a bit of pace and power is uh, is, is exciting. So hopefully we can get him going again. And with regard to Jack as well, so we've got a goalkeeper who's played that many games in League One. I know was something that you were keen on, and, yeah. and I take it with Aiden, that's just going to be really strong competition for him. Strong competition, very important. Uh, the experience of playing League One games, both players tick that box. Obviously, the centre forward position we, we needed to, to strengthen and we still need to strengthen even more. So, we'll, we'll be doing working more to get a different style of centre forward into the building over the next coming up, coming weeks. And maybe maybe another couple of additions is in centre forward and, and, and maybe another, another area we're looking to strengthen. So, uh, still a little bit of work to be doing. Uh, it, but, but similar to what I said after the game the other night, uh, August was always going to be a difficult month for us in, in certain ways because of the late finish, players getting back to getting competitive minutes under the belt, not having enough game, not, not being ready for enough games pre-season, not, not fight, getting our work done as quickly as we'd like to. So it'll be a work in progress month, but what I do feel is is confident that we will be moving in the right direction, which is, which is important. Was it a matter of perhaps waiting till say end of August, September, so you got the best squad for the rest of the year rather than taking the first ones that came through the door. Well that that was key for me is is that it's all about developing now. We've got we've got up to League One. Uh, we know it's a tough league, we've got some tough challenges, but also it's about developing the club and, and, and moving the club forward, trying to do that on a consistent basis. Is there going to be knocks throughout the course of that? Yes. I'm a realist. Uh, is it is it going to be challenging times within that? Yes. But we we have to have that continued progress of, of where we're heading, why we're going there. So so without going into too much to detail, I can explain every decision I make at, at, at the football club, me, me and Flickers make at the football club to, to show that we're trying to move in that, that, that right direction. One last thing, the centre forward that you mentioned there, maybe a different one, would that be a, a loan or something like that? Who at? knows? We, we look at both. We, we've been in for permanent ones of this type of player. We've been in for loans for this type of player. We've missed out on them. It's not like we're just going, oh, I need another one. It's, it's, it's been consistent of, of what we've needed for, for, for a period of time. So uh, we'll keep working on that. And it's it's more of the style of centre forward now I'm looking for. I was looking for another nine, a bit proc-esque, which Alice is. And uh, now I'm looking for a different s- s- type of centre forward. Um, just looking at Bolton, then um, they're a team that you know 12 months ago were coming up and doing pretty much the same thing you've done: get promoted and look to establish themselves and go a bit further. Do you kind of look at them as a bit of an example as to how you can you can do in this? Division? No, because they have better. They have a lot better. They're a bigger football club than ourselves at the minute. They have more money for for players financially. They have bigger things. We we want to try and progress to to their level. They, you know, they they they've been able to do it in a you know, Ian's done a fantastic job there. But they've been able to do it with good resources, uh 
it's, it's, it's a big football club that used to be in the Premier League, so we have to do things a little bit differently to them. But I say it's a bit of a, a look at them as a bit of a model, probably not the right way of looking at it a little bit, but we, we, we want to be progressing to those heights. And just finally then, you know, it's going to be a really hot day Saturday. How do you manage the players through that and make sure that they're all in the right condition and they stay hydrated? Oh, I, love, I love this country, don't it? When it's hot, we moan. When it's raining, it'll be in a couple of months, it'll be like it's cold out there. <laughs> Get on with it. It's football, isn't it? The weather is going to be hot. We, we love a meltdown, those Brits, don't we, when it's too hot or too bloody cold. So we just crack on. There's water breaks. They'll be looked after, the players. It is what it is, both teams. And... I'll top up my tan on the sideline maybe as well. Thank you. Thank you. Devil obviously at Bolton come into the league on a high in many ways because they had a good finish to the season, a strong finish in many ways. They picked that up at the start of the season as well. I suppose that's the benchmark that you've got to level to, isn't it? Well, you've got another three million, George. <laughs> For playing budget, listen, benchmarks, benchmarks, you, you look at things in different reasons. Bolton are a big club, like I said, Bolton are a big club with a with a healthy budget, with healthy players, competition in every area of the pitch. You know, Ian's, Ian's done that and it's not all about budget and whatnot, but he's done that over a period of time to be able to do that, to get better players in the football club. Sometimes it's not rocket science, George, is it? If I'm right. progressing, the better players you have, the better you become. But we, we do things in a different way. We we try and develop our players. We don't uh, we try and do things in a in, in a mannered way that's right for this football club. You know, the owners have been absolutely outstanding. The, the the amount of work they've done around the club, the place, with me, with getting the the coaching staff to the level of standard where we need to be heading has been important. But we're never going to have, in my opinion, the financial resources of a Bolton. Unless you're going to get your hand in your pocket, George, which probably not, because you haven't brought me a drink yet. So, <laughs> I will. And all right, yeah, well. So, so you know, doing things the right thing, and it's not all about that. It's not all about budget. It's about just keep moving in that consistent path, in in, in in trying to move upwards. But as you look at them, as you say that they will provide different opposition in many ways because of the quality they have, Dallas, won't they? Yeah, I think the league split. I, I, I do. I think some real big teams in this league. You've got your Derby, your Bolton, your Ipswiches. Um, your Peterborough's, your Oxford's, the big teams, big budgets. You know, there, there is a massive gulf. It's less so in League Two because there's there's more of a consistent uh, budget, a lot more of a consistent. And I think League Two is an easier league to get out of than League One, without any stretch of the imagination, because the, there's there's a pretty equal path in League Two. I think any anything over a million playing budget in League Two gives you a chance. It gives you a chance of getting promotion out of that level because you can get at least 13, 14 quality League Two players in this. As you get high up the pyramid, there'll be gulfs of five, six million on playing budgets, which is massive, George. But still 11 men versus 11 men. Do we have to try and find different ways of skinning cats? Yes, we do. And that's that's my job and my coaching staff's job to do that. You've just touched on the two players you're building. They, build, they bring that experience. That what That's what you were sorting, Dallas, wasn't it, really? You were very evident that you wanted that experience, and both these players have got it. And they'll bring something in the dressing yeah. room as well, won't they, Daryl? Yeah, George. Bat Ellis certainly will, and and, and Jack's. A, you know, we do our work on our players that we bring in. That's why we want to keep the spirit that we've got within the club. We want that siege mentality of what we've got in the changing rooms. That we 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 stick together through thick and thin. These lads epitomise that as well. The players that we bring into the club have to epitomise that. So uh, two two good good players coming in that, but also that bit of experience that we need. You expecting to lose any players, Daryl, as we approach in terms of because there's a word, and I'm only pushing the word in the rhyme here, in that there's an interest from Peterborough for Ben Garrity. I don't know whether that's fact or. Yeah, oh, I don't listen to rubbish, George. No, listen, there's always interest, hey, you know, agents and all that. For me, it's just paper talk, George. And you love your papers, mate. I know you do. You're old school, mate, and you're you're not a social media guy, aren't you? So. That's good players are always going to get be interested. Do I want to lose any players that I don't that, that I don't want to? No, but does every player have a price? Of course they do. It's football. Cheers. Thank you. Could no. players go anyway, Dal, just to make room in the squad? Like, well, we're not a big squad, are we? I mean, what are we? Twenty three seniors. Yeah. You know, you don't. I think is it we're twenty three seniors now without Tommy McDermott. Well, <clears throat> I think you need a squad of twenty five, twenty six to be able to compete League One level and, and twenty five, twenty six seniors. That mm -hmm. is so. We're hoping not to to lose too many more, but you, we're always in the player trading business. Yeah. Always, go, always going to be in that player trade. We're always looking to improve the squad, and with that comes losses and and, and gains.